Next, I'd like to explain all of the features that you can set up within the Icons General tab. So from the main startup menu, simply press the Settings button, and if you, the General tab is the leftmost tab. If it's not exposed, simply press the button at the top to expose the left-hand tab, select the General tab. The one highlighted in blue is the one you're currently looking at. So on the General tab, here are the various features that you can access. Skip user login, number one. So if you want to use login, you uncheck this box by simply tapping the screen there. By default, login is unused, is skipped. So it will not ask you to log in when you're using the icon. The next feature, show pharmacy selection at startup, is strictly used for people who have had icons for many years and they're using the icon in the old mode of operation known as the PMSS mode. If you want to get to that mode on a new icon, you simply check that box and then hit OK, save the settings, shut down the icon and restart and you'll see a selection menu that appear at the first startup where you can get to the old menu of operation. Most people will never need to go there. Next, the the GPI substitution feature has a few choices, disabled or enabled. So if you don't want to allow the person filling prescriptions to substitute generics at the time of filling prescriptions, then disable that feature. The default is enabled. Stock bottle verification, three choices, always, never, and user. Always indicates that after you scan a prescription label that telling you which stock bottle to use to fill the prescription, always will force you to always scan the stock bottle to validate you're filling the right drug. Never means it will skip over that step all the time, and user means it will apply another button onto the menu that says skip validation, which allows you to avoid the validation process sometimes, but go through it the rest of the time. Where this can be useful is if you're double counting prescriptions that have been filled in your robotic system, and sometimes the stock bottle is not available. So it's already verified that the, the uh, robotic system is verified that the right drug has been dispensed, and you just want to count them on the icon. So you'd scan your prescription label, skip validation, and jump right into the count mode. The next feature is the scanner port number. Very few people have substituted an external barcode scanner, but if you wanted to, you would have to just change this to a value of four, and then hit save, shut down the icon, restart, and now it would use an external barcode scanner that would be plugged into the USB port on the back of the unit. Only certain barcode scanners are supported. With drivers, contact the factory if you wish to go here. Timeout is only useful in the count only mode. If the leave the icon with no pills on the tray, it will time out and return back to the main menu. And at the bottom of the screen, we've got a few selections, first being the date and time setting. So you select that. You can select your time zone by selecting that tab and choosing it from the drop down menu. You can select the time in itself by just clicking on the hours, minutes, or seconds, and then hitting the up and down arrows to change the time accordingly. And press OK once you get it to where you want it to be. And now your time is set properly. That way, all of your prescription data that gets recorded every time you press that Finish button will have accurate timestamps on all your prescriptions. So fairly important if you want to have good data. Next, Explorer, you should never have to go into here. Typically, if we have you try to do something uh, special on your icon and while you're calling the factory for technical support, you may have to go into this menu. Same with Control Panel. And lastly, one of the most common problems that people tend to experience on their icon is the Calibrate Platter. If you're in the count mode and before you've even poured pills on the tray, you're getting a counting error, you probably just need to calibrate the platter. So you simply get into the menu here, make sure the tray is clear of any pills and no excessive pill dust buildup, press the Calibrate Platter button. A sound will beep and you should see platter calibration successful. Press OK and now go back to the count mode and try and you, your counting problems should be resolved. That completes the general tab of the icon.